Hello everybody, greg 2 t here, and today we're going to talk about a build that I recommend that you use on Bison basically as soon as you hit 60, or as soon as you actually can have money to, <laughs> to try to do this. Okay, so I just call it like the poor man's, poor man's build, the poor man's set. It's a really, really good set to start off with, and how it works is, well, let's just go ahead and start looking at the gear right here. Okay, so first of all, only two pieces here are very important. The rest are somewhat optional, but the first two pieces you want to go for are the knee pads and the chest piece. Okay, so let's look at the knee pads first. Holy word, knee pads. Land of Meditation now deals damage every 0.5 seconds instead of every 1 second. Range is increased from 4 meters to 10 meters, and the area now moves with you and pulls nearby enemies towards you. And after using Land of Meditation for the first time, the damage of Land of Meditation slash Lightning Orb slash Courage Realm slash Holy Will will increase by 80.75%. Okay. So, this goes hand in hand with the chest because the chest goes does the same thing basically for Courage Realm. So Courage Realm does all the same things, gets the damage increase it to 0.5 second instead of every one second the range increase it moves with you pulls enemies towards you and also increases the damage of meditation lightning orb courage realm and holy will by 80.75 percent so yeah that's that's basically it those, those are the two main pieces so you're going to be using land of meditation and courage realm and just walking around and basically having stuff pulled towards you. Um, one thing to get, note here also is the lightning orb thing. So you can still use your lightning orbs. And uh, as things get pulled towards you, use your lightning orbs. If they're not dying immediately, you can use your lightning orbs to f uh, finish them off. And um, holy will, you can use holy will as, as well. But that one won't move with you just yet. So we have the trinket holy word shield, which is very nice. Um, this is one of the least important pieces, I believe, but uh, it does a little bit of extra damage. Every time you use an active skill, you cast Falling Thunder on the enemy, and it, the damage amplification is increased by 120%. Does 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 some very good damage there, but not one of the most important pieces. One of the other important pieces, though, are the Holy Word Bracers here. So, this is what keeps your butt alive. Your normal attacks and active skills have 4.8% lifesteal, and will grant you HP recovery, restoring 8% of your max HP every second over 5 seconds. So that's pretty crazy. Lots and lots of healing from this. If you don't get the bracers, you, you definitely want to run some sort of uh, some healing ability or something alongside this. And then the Holy Word Iron Helmet is kind of the same as the Trinket. Every time you use a normal attack or active skill, you unleash Lightning Chain onto the enemy and gain HP recovery, restoring 1% of max HP every second over 2 seconds. And uh, yeah, so a little bit more healing there, a little bit more damage, but not one of the important pieces. And uh, as far as weapons go, you can basically use whatever you want. Um, honestly, weapons in this game, at least for Bison, have been like the most underwhelming piece, which kind of sucks, but yeah, right now I'm using the Prestige Warhammer. Uh, you could use, there is a holy word weapon here too that basically does the same thing as the prestige warhammer. Increases your extra damage for 20 seconds and has a sec 60 second cooldown. Um, there are some other weapons out there that increase your skill attack or normal attack. Um, and there's actually a lower level, like level 59 or so, uh, or is it the level 53 one? I can't remember, but there's another hammer that increases your crit rate. I've actually cons been considering to actually go back to that one that increases your crit rate because I feel like it's be that's better than these these ones that increase your extra damage and stuff. But yeah, anyway, yeah, just use whatever weapon you want, basically. All right. So, um, like I said, the reason we go for this is because these items are fairly easy to get in comparison to like the these set I items, like the prestige set or uh, the other set items. Um, you get these pretty often, the Holy Word items, so people often ask me, like, what's the best way to actually get gear in this game, and unfortunately, it is through Hayden here, the Jester, the probably the most hated guy in the city, 
<laughs> so basically you try to save up some gold, come to Hayden, come over here, start off with a uh, chest or feet. And if you want to try to go for the Holy word chest, go in here, uh, and then just click fast purchase and cross your fingers. <laughs> That's basically what you do. And as you see there, we actually, when you get something good, um, something will pop up. Let's do this a few times just, just to, just for example here to see if we can actually get something to pop up. But yeah, my luck has not been good for the past few days. So I, uh, come on, <laughs> I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it five runs and then I might just say, uh, no, cause my, my luck has been so, so bad. But yeah, basically eventually something will pop up on the screen. You, you do get like some lower level, uh, like non-ancient, so anything that's like ancient, ancient legendary, it'll pop up and like be have all of this flashy animation thing and let you know that you got something really good. There will be other like uh, lower level or regular legendaries that you will get in these rolls. Usually they're not very good. I usually just uh, furnace them, but yeah. Just because nothing pops up doesn't mean you're not really getting anything good. There we go. Finally, okay. Okay, so that's what happens when you get like an ancient legendary. It pops up, tells you all the stats that you got and all that good stuff. So we got some him iron armor. There's a good little example right there. But yeah, as you see, uh, I mean, it, once you get doing this, you'll 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 find out pretty quick that the set items, the green items, are really really rare. It costed me about. I said it uh, probably like 11 or 12 million to get my my holy word chest and my holy word knee pads. People said that was actually considered pretty lucky. Like some people said they spent 50 million just to get the holy word stuff. And I was like, oh man, okay, that's terrible luck. Yeah, so this <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna learn to hate Hayden. He's basically uh, the gatekeeper for everything in this game. If you want to try to you. Know, you know, get get a good set going. You'll you'll find a few set pieces doing like Demon Land and stuff like that. But um, yeah, just to finish off your sets, you're probably gonna have to use Hayden. Yeah. And let's take a look at the talents. So this is the talent build that I use right here. And the the idea behind this build, as you can as you might notice right away, we don't really have any big nodes. We don't have you know, Divine Thunder, Static Thunder, Holy Guard. We don't even take like Sealed Thunder or Thunder Blast. Because the idea is we want to increase the damage as much as possible on our Land of Meditation and Courage Realm. So we go down here, we pick up all the extra damage nodes that we can and the hit rates. The hit rates are also very important. So got a good amount of hit rate here. So go up here, get the extra damage, extra damage up here. Then we move over to skill attack, move our way down here, pick up, picking up some more skill attack and some hit rate and fatal aura. Fatal aura is probably one of our best nodes in this whole thing. And then over here and pick up the rest of these skill attack nodes. So yeah, idea is just empower those abilities as much as possible. We don't want to be reliant on any like divine thunder or lightning realm or anything like that. We just want to use our abilities and make them really strong. Anyway, that's the yeah, the poor man's build, I would say. The easiest thing to start off with once you hit level 60. And in the next video, we'll talk about some of the the other builds that will probably cost you about 50 to 100 million at least to get going. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on twitchtv grade 2 g Twitter.com slash Greg2G. And I'll see you guys next time. GG's. Stay beautiful.